Oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Lillian today along with... BSM First Matrix here at your service. And I forgot to start up the Chatty program, so let's do it right now. <laughs> there's, there's always one thing I forget, isn't there? Uh, anyways, welcome back to Commandos 2 Men of Courage. With the 8th stream now, I believe. Uh, the previous one on Twitch was number 7, so this one must be number 8. And, uh, yeah. I don't, oh yeah, last time we got started in this level. Uh, the giant in Haifong, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And, uh, yeah, you, you can guess what the next level is a reference of. Oh dear God. Anyway. Let's get started. Okay, and there it fits the screen again. Again, this is because the game is refusing to work with game capture anymore. We're actually, since we solved the widescreen issue, it might be, it might, it might obey with that again now. That's a possibility. Well, uh, anyways, uh, Lupin and Inferno have gotten themselves stuck in a warehouse somewhere around here because Lupin thought he could Chinese read Chinese, which he couldn't. And there's also Natasha somewhere around here who we need to contact. But yeah, we start off with just Tiny for now. So we don't have to dodge the, uh, the patrol that's going around. Uh, there it is, actually. And try and make our way over to the two numb nuts. I just realized that there's two Chinese languages, Mandarin and uh, Cantonese? Cantonese? Uh, can something like Cantonese, that? I think, yeah. So the question is, did he mix yeah. them up uh, when he tried to read the sign? It could be. And I thought that it was just a worker, not a soldier. Oh, yeah, we have no need for that. Though, I think we might be able to get some use out of it now. Let's see, we still have that uniform we're carrying around. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay, I didn't know that it, uh, it's a bit less useful when the, <laughs> the one you're checking out is dead. Oh, hello there. Uh, let's see. That's it. Yeah. Uh, anything we can use in here? Yes. No. Yes, you will just open the freaking door, Tiny. Okay, more of those. Don't really need to heal at the moment. Okay, there's the patrol again. Moin. We can grab... Ooh, 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 ooh. That got close there. <laughs> if we had stabbed that guy, Moin. the other one would have immediately alerted. Uh, sounded the alarm, probably. I missed that due to I was trying to impale a piece of sausage. <laughs> I see them eating here, folks. Okay, anything Boy. useful on you? Some cigarettes, we can use those. Since we... Wait, didn't we have... Okay, we, we didn't have any of those. So now we can start luring people. Let's see. So I, I've looked a bit more into the original Commandos game, and it, it is quite a jump Good. from that one to this one. Did he just miss that? Uh -huh. Probably should have started with seeing where he sees and such. Okay. But yeah, the original was you had only one view. You couldn't swap. You couldn't swap around like this. And all of the Im all of the moving images were sprites. So yeah, to go from <laughs> from 2D to 3D like this, that's quite a jump. Uh -huh. Yeah, usually is. Do I wonder, was the first one as in-depth as this one? I'm not entirely sure because I never played it, or I think I might have tried it at one point, but I never... <clears throat> I never got far into it, or anywhere at all. Pardon? It's this is anything... mine. I'll take... I won't take that since we're full on that. Okay. Yeah, it, it was quite a jump. Uh, sadly, Commandos 3 dropped the ball somewhat, as in quite a lot. Uh -huh. uh, for one, it's not. For one, from I, what I know of it, it it looks just. Uh -huh. uh, it just looks 
mm, dirtier, so to speak, and not in a good way, not in a... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Apparently seeing someone crawling around gives him it causes him to not give a crap about his dead ally anymore. Uh, but yeah, beyond <laughs> that, they also cut down the roster from uh, eight, or technically nine with whiskey added, to just six or so, I think. This is more nope. Don't look into that, look into the body. Nope. Okay, is it done? Cutting down the roster is not the end of the world, as long as there's a reason for it. True. Uh -huh. But yeah, just in general, from what I've seen and heard of it, uh, uh -huh. it's considered a rush job. Oh, moin. Okay, we know someone there can have a line of sight on that. Uh -huh. So we just wait around the corner. Probably for they were given a strict okay. deadline. I'm not sure on that. Okay, we need somewhere closer to hide the bodies. Actually, let's just drop them here for now, and then we can look into this building. Yep, and <laughs> those do take off. Uh, luckily, they won't alert any enemies, because while well, the area is being occupied, they have no reason to play nice with them. Okay, wait for the patrol to pass. Gotta keep an eye on these guys up here for what they can see and whatnot. But yeah, I, I have no real in. Okay, someone just does not give a shit. <laughs> yeah, I have no real interest in playing or streaming Commandos uh, 1 or 3. Though I might look into the, uh, the recreated levels that they did in the. Uh, <clears throat> In the Commandos 2 mod Destination Paris, which, from what I've heard, recreates all the levels from all the other games. Let's see. Okay, we'll need a grenade to get clear that out. This is mine. And beyond that, this is safe. And no room for that. Let's. See. And, of course, there's two things in there that we can interact with. Um, let's see. Can we open this door without standing in front of it? Okay. Oh, come on, really? Okay. Then we'll do it... No, no. Clicked the wrong thing there. I... <laughs> this way. Leave it to me. There we go. That gets his attention. <laughs> and the civilian. What? Well, one of the civilian bolts, and the other just to continues me. the conversation without them. He <laughs> guess he has it. I guess what I'll do is I keep on talking and talking. We don't realize it, there's no listening to them anymore. Maybe. Done. Okay. Healing a room. Motor or a flashback I'll be having of recent days. Let's see. I don't think we'll be able to take these out without explosives, so it'd be best to just avoid them for the moment. And we are getting close to the warehouse. Just need to... Yeah, avoid this one, that one... And these here. Oh, and the sailor here. It's done. This is go around. Uh -huh. Actually, hmm. where are they? There they are. Oh. Boy. Hmm. If he can see here, we might be able to lure him over. But he would be going quite a distance. Uh, also, I've looked up some speedruns of this game, and this let's just game. say that any percent speedruns of these levels go really, really freaking fast. Oh, bloody heck. Like, the longest was shorter than five minutes. Wait, what? Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, 
Some levels I can see that be possible others, like the bigger ones. Yeah, like Burma. Uh, Burma and the uh, early uh, big levels. True, but they go for only the uh, completely required bits, like blowing, well, freeing the crew and getting them into the uh, the sub and getting the Enigma machine, which can actually be done really freaking fast. I think that one only took two minutes. As for, like, Burma, me. Uh, there is actually an exploit, apparently, that the tyrant is just off-screen the, on the bridge, so if you uh -huh. can just... <laughs> you can actually just walk up to, uh, over there, set someone on the uh, auto, on Overwatch, uh -huh. and they will just shoot them off-screen. <laughs> oh, From there, it's only getting the spiritual leader to the boat, and he, apparently he doesn't get attacked at all. Might make sense if you think about it. If they actually accidentally would totally kill him, Leave they would have quite a riot. Yeah. Okay. So it might be a case of uh, leave him alone to make uh -huh. make the occupation smoother. Mm -hmm. oh. I forgot about this guy for a moment. Okay, uh, Wait, what, there. what were you to say? I uh, accidentally interrupted you. Okay. Uh, kind of forgot at the moment. Oh. Get under his. Uh, damn it. Oh. Get up, tiny. And that's game over. Okay. Well, let's try this again then. And we know he doesn't like the <clears throat> he doesn't like the smokes, so we just start with the booze. But yeah, that can that just tells you how easily it is to just get caught and lose a level here. I forgot that that's full. Hmm. Uh, yeah, what was I talking about now? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, the speed runs. Right. Yeah, it is kind of fun to see just how wi <laughs> how certain games can be exploited to hell and back to just get a quick win of, on it. Okay. He is the most dangerous now since he has the most sights. So we just grab this guy, dump him in there. And then we see if we can lure him out to grab him. Also, in in the original Commandos game, the line of sight could get really freaking crazy. Leave it to me. What? Like, like uh, they have stat they have static limits and such on this, but in you know, in the original Commandos, the uh, yeah their line of sight could reach double that side uh, size. Uh, but also half of it as they looked around, uh, so to speak. Uh -huh. Okay. But that, I guess it would be more realistic in a way. Yes, and since you're wouldn't... looking what you have to your front and to your peripheral. Yeah. So, mm, I guess they do, do it as far here since. Let's be honest, but you have an enemy with that long sight of range. Well, realistic, it will make the signing levels much harder. Yeah. Okay. Now we wait for him to come over here. Maybe will he, will he even move? And if he does, will he move in time for us to? Do, oh, yes, he is coming. Actually, that would be a perfect time to go grab. Oh, I didn't. Sp <laughs> I completely failed to spot the stairs there. This is going. Oh dear. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a timing thing now, though, because he needs to pick it up and turn around. Okay, 
quickly grab him. And then we gotta hope that there's nobody really paying attention over this way. Like that guy on the roof. No, not the roof. But... Okay, I did not actually expect to not get seen there. I was this fully expecting mine. to get shot up again. Okay. Uh -huh. That makes this a hell of a lot safer now. Since we now just have to deal with a static enemy. Uh -huh. Also, something that was uh, that wasn't in the original commandos was the sound okay. uh, system, as in that they could, they, you could just run up behind someone uh -huh. and stab them in the back, unlike in this game. Okay. Yeah, that's a balanced reason, I guess. Okay, now where do we dump you where you can't be spawned? Is that a... Yes, that is an enemy. Piece of cake. Okay, I don't think he can be seen there. Uh -huh. Oh, he heard that. Boy. Wait, what? That, that was a soldier? Yep. Okay, they didn't raise the alarm, though. Wait, is that a different patrol? Uh -huh. Any of these carrying anything? No, nothing of interest. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't expect him to actually catch a glimpse of me there. Or of Tiny. And I'm, it to me. I'm surprised that not everyone started chasing you either. Boy. Yeah, he, they, did, they didn't get to raise the alarm. Luckily enough. <laughs> Let's see. There's someone in there, but there's a <laughs> there's a screen blocking sight. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. you, <laughs> literally just hiding behind the door <laughs> unintentionally. <laughs> okay, uh, this is working out decently well for uh, not the stealthy stealth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking I could just walk past whilst he was looking the other way, but I clicked too late. And we still have enough... <laughs> we have still have enough uh, canned food to heal up. Oh, oh, they... Okay, so they did see the bodies. But they're not raising the alarm. Okay. Weird. Okay, let's not let's not exit right in front of a freaking patrol. Because Tiny is strong, but he does not survive a firing squad of five strong. Hmm. Actually, okay. Why did they change their pattern? They were going just in circles around here, but why did they? Right over here now. Probably search of whoever uh, killed the others. Uh -huh. Maybe. At least it gives us an opportunity to get into here. It has only a worker. It's, well, <laughs> really? <laughs> you got confused Boy. there? Okay, yeah, this this game is a bit wonky from time to time. That is an old game. <laughs> Let's see, we should be able to just walk in the front door if we wanted to. But I don't know if that'll be a good idea because we don't know who's in there and everything. We got a, we got a glimpse at the start of the mission. Nope, they are going at it again. Yeah, it'll be safe for us to try and get into the side entrance here. Which I've kind of been going the wrong way then. 
Maybe we can get through here? Actually, except for this guy, the truck that keeps going back and forth, and the patrol, that should be pretty clear to get over there. We'll just have to deal with these two. And maybe this guy up here. risky whilst there's activity going on. Very risky. Oh yeah. E eat up. Uh, really? That's what you noticed? The cigarettes? Okay, let's get these bodies inside. Yeah. This is mine. Okay. Grab you. We should be in the clear after we grab this, but why did you just not drop him off, Tiny? Yeah, what he used to say. Okay, I, I accidentally drew the selection window instead of, well, the cancel button or cancel action. Oh, there, oh, there, just, there is one more and they are all completely <laughs> oblivious to it. Okay. Oop, oh dear, never mind. Oh uh -huh. Okay, well, is there over there? Let's quickly retreat here. I don't think they'll go inside. Mine. Like, unless they are program. I I've noticed that. Okay, they really do not give a shit. <clears throat> oh. uh, I've noticed that uh, enemy soldiers can't go into buildings or won't go into buildings unless they're programmed to or if they know if they saw someone rushing in or heard something in there uh, why are they coming this way okay are they tracking you I don't think so I know in the original commandos if you left foot if you walked over uh -huh. snow you left behind footprints for them to follow. But that hasn't uh -huh. been in here. Would have been a neat addition to White Death. But would also have made things a lot harder to actually sneak around. Yeah. Okay, let's do a quick save. Also, something I should probably do is to turn on this and have this follow the patrol, so I know where they are at all times. Actually, I should probably do this on this, this screen instead, not you. Since I have a better sight on this one. Yeah. And yeah, they are headed over right now. Uh -huh. This gives me a lot less of screen space to work with. Oh, now they're back to that patrol. Someone's Sick. watching the door, so no. Uh -huh. And oh yeah, uh -huh. we we got one of those two there. Okay. There we go. That's all we needed. <laughs> Good. Okay. Now it's just just dump him behind the building for the moment. And this door should be safe. Well, there's someone watching it at the moment. But it should be clicked out of the game. Not going to risk that again. Okay, just need to wait for him to turn around again. And it looks like a patrol is back to their normal routine. Okay, just gotta wait for him to turn away again. Come on. 
It's done. Okay, it could have gone better. Uh -huh. None of the other ones reacted. <clears throat> okay, heal up. And finally get these two. We're going to have to find explosives to blow up the fuel tanks. The safest way is to destroy both sets of fuel tanks at the same time. We could gain entry to the base by hiding in the back of that truck. I can climb the crane in the port and get to the deck of the carriers that way. I can then drop a rope ladder and you can all get up there. Good. Let's go. There's much to do. Leave it to me. Okay. Okay. So those were our comrades. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. No <laughs> wonder they didn't torch out. <laughs> yeah, they've been stuck in here for a while. Okay. You get the machine gun. Lupin, what do you have? You have your rat and your lockpicks. Anything useful in here? Yes. Oh, thank you. And that's the rope ladder that we need. Some more food, some wine. Yeah, sleeping pills. And another grenade for Inferno. Another picture piece. Okay. Yes. All right. Hmm. We still need to find Natasha, though. Let's see. Contact the sapper and thief. Find the explosives. Destroy the large fuel tanks. Destroy the small fuel tanks. Infiltrate the aircraft carrier. Uh, talk with the shopkeep. Right inside the truck. Uh, let's. Oh, he's in. He's in there. Yep. Natasha. <laughs> yeah, I think the shopkeep is supposed to tell us where she is. Okay, did not know she was here. Okay, he's currently looking that way. Let's not get in the back of the truck just yet. I want to contact Leave it the contact to first. Good. Okay. Might want to deal with this guy as well, but we will be moving away from here, so he shouldn't be an issue once we are away. Leave it to me. So for now, we can just uh, <laughs> follow these uh, this lot. Uh -huh. Oop, one of the others saw me there for a second. Moin. Moin. Okay, get in there. You. <laughs> okay. Close that and talk to you. Well, by the looks of you, I'd say that this is for you. Don't worry, it's already paid for. If you're looking for the pretty girl, she's in the white building at the end of the street. Get her out of there. It's no place for a lady. Okay, there she is. And how many of them are in the back there? A, a bunch of them. Wait, are... What the hell are they doing? Okay, why are they just crouching and what? Is there supposed to be a poster there or something? <laughs> Either way, it looks like they're all busy except for this one. So once he turns around, we just grab him, and then we can search the place. Wait, where is this building? Hmm? In what region or what? Uh, how do you mean exactly? Where, where on the map is this building? Like, is this next to the target house we need to go to, or? It's a, it's a little bit away. Like, we have the, the house with the courtyard, and then this, across the street from there is where Natasha is hiding. Across the street, you said? Moin. Not the... 
Okay, we are here. There we have this, and there she is hiding in there. Mm, okay, it might be a good, bad view spot for them to watching at that uh, place Lord. from. Let's see, even more sleeping pills. I was thinking if they were trying to watch the house uh, from another house, but it probably not from that angle. Not from that angle, I think. Yeah. Good. Okay. Oh, we found Natasha's uniform and the sniper rifle. Actually, we're low on ammo with that, so let's... Actually, do we have enough? Uniform? What? It, uh, exploit Natasha's natural charms. <laughs> Natasha won't be discovered by the enemy dressed in sexy clothes and using her lipstick. She can distract enemy soldiers so that her combats can avoid detection. That's one okay. way to call it. Okay, there we go. Do we still have our rifle? And we can check out the high shelf stock. Oops, a piece. Okay. Let's wait for the patrol to pass. Actually, we don't it's need to. So we can just go the long way around. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. I haven't been fully go. I. Uh -huh. We could have gone looking for, ooh, for all the picture pieces, uh -huh. but they don't actually add anything to the story. They're just bonus missions. Okay. Lord. They are all busy, so we can just sneak by. And there she is. Lord. At last, a friendly face. Where are my things? I can't bear to stay in these awful clothes a minute longer. Of course, that's her first concern. Yeah, Luckily, we have them already. And yeah, Natasha can use a sniper rifle similar to Duke. Okay. Is there Ooh. anything up here? Okay, just some guys, and nothing more of a surprise. Okay, uh, not okay. you. You get dressed, and then we can start moving around. Avoiding all three of these, of course, since they would, <laughs> they would see through her disguise immediately. Okay. Tiny, you down as well. Okay. And we can use Natasha as our scout and distraction. Yeah. And well, sniper when needs to. Here we go again. Really? Oh, out of ammo. <laughs> For a moment, I thought you, I, he has line of sight on us, but not we on him. So how did he hear us? Or did he just turn around when I didn't see? Might be a case of a uh, turn around at the moment you mm. did not expect. Probably, yeah. Okay, let's use one of these now. Actually, no, we we have enough food still. Plenty of food. Should probably take mm. the med kit. Yeah, we have. Actually, okay. Natasha can pick up the med kit. Yeah. Tiny, go hide okay. around the corner. And yeah, Natasha's dress is different here than it was uh, in on the other front. Makes sense, of course. Yeah, this looks more like a, a Chinese dress. Yeah, yeah, good thing we had tiny move there, or he would have been in a literal firing squad, or in front of a bit. Hmm. I, I guess he amused me. For at the moment, I wondered, I keep wondering, would they not notice this uh, Russian right away? This is mine. Tell me. Hmm. Could be, but the uh, Indochina area, there would be people from other areas. Yes. So they probably wouldn't find it too different, uh, too odd. Okay. Uh -huh. 
Actually, if we distract this guy, we can turn this into a safe house. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess as long as she dresses up as a lo uh, someone local or something, but if she were to wear a uniform, uh, their uniform, they probably will raise a lot of eyebrows. Yeah. Okay, there's an officer there. Let's see a lot of wine. <laughs> Okay, okay. Natasha doesn't have the punch command, but she can do uh, something else, if I can find a moment. Uh, oh, she has none of it at the moment, but we have plenty of it here. As okay. in, well, wine bottles are her weapon of choice. <laughs> oh, really? Yep. Come on. But they will, of course, break. N no shit. <laughs> ah! yeah, she loves to use the hard liquor, so Boy. to speak. <laughs> Emphasis on hard. Uh, I, think, I think it's a nod towards a trope. Don't. Tell me. So I think many people may have seen in older movies. Yeah, just wine bottles getting thrown or used to smack people up upside the head. Yeah, like it, something, it usually makes sense, but here, I'm ready, sir. it doesn't really, not as a main no. weapon as a choice, at least. Uh, it, it's more that she, she doesn't have the physical strength to knock them out, yeah. on her own at least. Uh, similar to... Yeah, Kate Archer in the first No One List Forever. Not that it makes too much sense since she's, she's, <laughs> Kate Archer is always carrying around a, a full armory. Are you ready, True. sir? Mm. Oh, that's locked. Okay, then. Lupin, yep. come do your job. Uh huh. Okay, what's in here that it needs to be locked? Hmm. Going there. Oh, that's why it needs to be locked. <laughs> okay, let's take those, take the other explosives, and bring them over to Inferno. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to be full on explosives now, uh -huh. or hand grenades at least. You have seven at the moment. You have five. Okay, uh, give those to Natasha for the moment. To make six. Yep. <laughs> and then grab Tiny's three and bring those over to Inferno. Though we could actually bring him over as well. Okay. And have this be our little new headquarters for the moment. Okay. Yes. Huh. Okay. There we go. <laughs> One fully stocked yep. sapper. Okay. Uh-oh. All right, then. Hmm. I am going there. Let's see what we can find in here. Yes. Hmm. And, yeah, we're to disable the aircraft carrier. Oh, hello. We're going to need to blow up the fuel tanks there. Let's see, I'm not seeing any officers. Med kits and sleeping pills. Five this time. Okay. Finished. Uh, also, some uh, some bits of trivia on Natasha. She was actually in the first game as well, but there she was known as Natasha uh, Vandersand, aka <laughs> Dutch. Okay. So the next. So yep. Go ahead. So she's actually a Dutch? Done. Yeah, she, from what I... I don't think it's ever officially explained, but uh, from what I hear people say, that's a lot of eyes on her at the moment. Uh, the people, the, the explanation that people have come up with is that she was, is actually a double, a Russian double agent who have infiltrated the Dutch resistance. I am going there. Or something like that, at, at least. Uh -huh. or, 
it's, we will want to avoid this at all costs. Oh dear. And also, that might explain if some people are going there. She, she doesn't really sound Russian. All mine. And she doesn't sound Dutch either, though. There's an officer there. Okay. And of course, that's where all the goodies are. Yeah, though, from what I've been experiencing from when I meet Dutch, many... You, you don't know they are Dutch until they tell you. <laughs> for the... For... For most Dutch I spoke to, don't maybe the a very obvious accent oh, because no. I heard that when it comes to Dutch they either it's extremely obvious they have a Dutch accent that they can't hide at all or they are not really just uh, able to speak very fluent English oh, without having their accent painfully obvious at all. And under which not... category do I fall then? As I said this I would not know you were Dutch if you haven't told me. Okay, even more grenades. And to be honest, I don't know what this sign of a Dutch accent okay. is even. Not even to this day, I don't I know what a Dutch, what uh, tells, what you can see here is a Dutch accent. And we'll take what? That. Okay. So a lot of wine hidden in the bookshelves here. That's concerned, and also, you know the bot thing on Discord? Yeah. It just now said we are streaming. You forgot for a moment that the screen that this is display capture. Oh dear. I mm. guess we have to keep an eye on that uh, thing. I just hope we've been recording this the whole time. Yeah, it is. Ah, uh, good, good. That was just the uh, thingy being slow. Uh, yeah. Actually, maybe if I just move this over here. There. Uh, no, Natasha, don't move. You're, there's an officer nearby. Uh, what I just did was a small thing on, you know, on the OBS. I just moved the controls from the left side to the right side so I can have a good side line of sight on it as well. Okay. Now then, the idea was to sneak in through the truck, which hasn't moved at all. I am going there. Now, the last time we tried to sneak into somewhere in a car, things uh, went messy. So maybe, if, maybe since this is a covered truck, we'll have more luck with it. Okay. Uh, wait, can can you not drive or anything? Or I'm ready, sir. And, uh... Tell me. Oh, she got into the back of it. Okay. No, now now she got into the driver's seat. Uh, we're done. Natasha, will you? Okay. Uh. All of you out. And can at least Understood. one of you get into the driver's seat? Tell me. Okay, I think it bugged out a bit since we killed off the handlers. <laughs> It's supposed to be moving, Done. but yeah, since it's not getting its cargo, it's not going to move. In the speedrun uh, of this level that I saw, they actually they got control of this thing. So how did they how they did that? I have no idea. Then Oscar is just cuddling in the box of the graphics card that <laughs> arrived Done. earlier today, right before the stream, actually. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. The my new graphics card, the 3070 that I ordered, uh, arrived today. I will. 
I was thinking about installing it before the stream, but uh, that probably would have took, uh, taken a bit longer than I w would have wanted uh -huh. to. Just like how yeah. this is going to take longer than we wanted to as well. Yeah, oh dear. I guess it's better to do that off the stream or tomorrow okay. or... Okay. Well, I think you have more time. Yeah, I'll, I'll try after stream since, yeah, it'll be three hours until the next stream if we do an evening one today. We should be up for do... Yeah. What would we eat? Oh, wait, yeah, the stream would probably either banana the main or zero uh -huh. cleaner? Yeah. Depending on if ROM is available or not. And speaking of binary domain and ROM, I got the idea that since on the uh, the days that I work a late shift, uh, there it just covers up both of the time, uh, both of the times when I would usually stream. I had, oh, I had the idea that uh, since ROM, since it's always so freaking early for ROM, that maybe we could you know, I could try doing late streams. Uh -huh. Ooh, someone got alerted, I think. Um, okay. Inferno, Lupin, go hide around the corner. Uh oh. Someone, someone yes. just took aim. Uh huh. Very yep. calm. Yeah. Okay, guess he just got a little bit too much of a sight on us and. Uh, yeah, and he, he gives up immediately. Okay. Leave that, should, it to me. that should clear out anyone else who has sight over here. So uh -huh. we can deal with this one. Yeah. Oh, uh, and uh, no, someone else caught sight of it. And he just does not care uh -huh. there. There we go. Okay. But as he was saying... I, I'm okay on skipping up on the main if he's gonna be having more of these. How you call it? How call it time conflict or something? Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm here. So I, I am willing to sacrifice not being on by the main. Uh -huh. You don't want to be on it. I'm, I'm willing to do that sacrifice if need to be. Okay. And again, we have one who is just not interested in smokes at all. Okay, Natasha is keeping this guy busy. That was that's the one who was over here. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we managed to recover from that pretty well. And this guy just has this guy has just saw just rock solid discipline. It seems. So if he has a rock solid throat, we'll find out. Nope. Okay. Go collect these again. And then we grab this one. Now, who was... Where's the one who caught sight of us earlier? Must be a roaming one. Okay. And I think, I think a bit. I think I only know two Dutch accents I have heard of. Of maybe three. Do is more of a Netherlands collection, I guess. It's Amsterdam, Flemish. Yeah, that's uh, that's more a dialect, I would say. Leave or at least that's me. what my people call uh -huh. it mostly. Yeah, perhaps a dialect. And also a so a. I think it's called Batavi. Can't say I know that. Also, I'd completely forgotten that these two were in oh. here. So that could have ended up quite a bit differently if they had kept an eye on the bloody door. Oh okay. dear. Tell me. Okay. Uh, I think I think I heard that a, when I showed a friend uh, a band uh, that I think I mentioned this band to you many All times right. before, made dungeon to the Dutch. Uh, hey, the Volk. Yeah. And when he heard heard the singers, he either said, oh, it's that, that uh, dialect, and uh, not complimentary, 
he had nothing complimentary about the accent at all to say. Talking okay. about the dialect was a Dutch version of being a redneck accent or something, and they have their own dialect that's apparently extremely rude to speak. Uh -huh. This puzzles me, like, it's apparently Good. seen as rude to speak your own native dialect, the others. It just puzzles me. Hmm. Uh, what was it called again? Brabant? What? And I, I think knew... it was Batavi, but on shore. Okay, and then... the band was called Heidevolk. Okay, uh, this guy going to be an issue. I should probably... I can't tell you to say I should do show you the band sometimes. And I'll probably even link to the band or sometime, but you keep forgetting. Yeah. Well, I don't... I know that there is a quote-unquote dialect called... that would translate to Hagish, which is like really, really freaking crude uh, Dutch. But I can't think of... A dialect that would be considered rude. So yeah, the, th this guy just won't get lured, it seems. It might be Hades, as his band is called Heidi Volk. Uh, I think it's, I think that's translated to the folk of the moor. Hmm. Or something. Maybe. See, this is going to be a bit of a tough one. Or at least tough one to sneak. Can you, can you come creeping closer here? We're going... actually... Uh -huh. That might actually be easier than I was thinking. Depending on... Oop. Okay. Let's see, need a good angle over here. That is the only one who sees there, except for this one who keeps going back and forth. So, if we can lay in wait... If we can, if we can lure this one over here, we can grab him, and then these two become a lot easier. Uh -huh. Well, he's not going for the cigarettes, anyways. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Here we go. Okay, bad timing with the club there. Okay. Maybe he'll go for more if he sees more. No, it, oh, uh, <laughs> the patrol leader is heading over. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> he got uh, the lieutenant just got his uh, his find stolen. Okay. Oh. Uh, this Boy. is going to be. Good. Okay. Ah. Okay, Tiny is down. Uh, quickly get the rifle. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I, I didn't realize due to hours. Hmm? I just thought one of the enemies got accidentally shot by their own comrade. Uh, no, and <laughs> despite the gunfire, this guy is just too distracted by Natasha to give a fuck. <laughs> Okay, Lupin. Go grab the bandages. Oh, you already have some. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ready, sir. Well, three if you get over there. Well, at least that took care of the one that we were wanting to take care of, and the patrol at the same time, it seems. Yeah. Okay. Oh dear. Actually, continue distracting this guy, then we can play a bit of cleanup here with the bodies, which they seem rather nonchalant about, just uh -huh. laying there. Oop, Natasha distracts. Uh -huh. 
Okay, I must have accidentally pressed uh, the right mouse button to cancel. Also, can we... You've got the right man. Okay, we can not climb yeah. into this window. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's just out of shits to give and just immediately pulls his gun. Okay, dump him there, grab this one. Actually, oh, you might want to grab some ammo from these. Or, or just a gun in general. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they are very agitated, but apparently not interested in coming any closer. We could have we could snipe this guy, but the others would notice that the uh, instantly uh, yeah this, this is really annoying that this guy just does not want to get lured no matter what you hear that and there was one sounding the alarm over or calling out over something at least it, it sounds like idiota like they're saying that or like Boy, idiot in <laughs> italian or something Okay. Let's grab their guns. And yeah, we might just need to gun our way through this plot as well. Uh -huh. This this is the annoying little pest that is being a well, the pest. Okay, both of those are also not interested in all, at all. Uh -huh. Okay, can we at least... If I just throw this in front of his face... Okay, again... Hmm. Yeah, I, I think the game is really expecting you to sneak by in the car. But since that's not working... It's causing a bit of an issue. You need to reload. Okay. I think for the moment we're just going to try and gun our way through this. Though that was apparently not enough to actually draw them in. Yes. Tell me. Okay, Natasha. Stop with him. Okay, where the hell did he come running from? It's not that one. And, oh. We got we got the one up there. <laughs> you didn't notice that. You got the wrong one? Did you say so? Uh, the correct one, but the, the one we were actually going to snipe. But yes. <laughs> so this also works. All right. Okay. Distract you. Uh, Lupin, you have the rifle. Yes, you do. Okay. No, 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 not wrong way. Actually, something that I've heard about Lupin is that if he's running, he's actually running too fast to be shot. Though I don't want to really go test that out. Okay. They, they just really just do not give a shit about anything they see here, Had <laughs> It's like they've been threatened with execution if they leave their post. For any freaking reason. Very weird. Yep, just a bit short. I think the firing line for this is a bit longer than the one when you're actually Good trying idea. to aim yourself. Like, he, we can't hit him now, but if we do that... It's a bit of an oddity. Uh -huh. Going. Oop. Wait, who is... Oh, that guy over there. He's also keeping watch, so... Yes? Okay. Okay. Yeah. The sole survivor. 
Okay, get that ammo. Loop and search the other ones. Okay, he's not stationary as I thought I was. For a, moment, I th for a moment I thought that Lupin was too fast for him to see or something. It... Hmm. Okay, his cone of vision is a bit odd. I'm ready, sir. How do these... How do these see us then if... Yeah. Okay. Natasha... Let's see... So you need to actually climb a ladder to get there. Let's go distract this guy. Be careful of the officer here. Where he doesn't seem interested in looking around at all. And... Okay, we still don't have a... I th I'm pretty sure that if we get closer or get onto the aircraft carrier, that we'll be able... Yeah, that the map will expand a bit. Because there is something I remember about this place. And I'm pretty sure it's not a false memory. Because it's a memory that my father also has. Uh-huh. Oh. Here we are. For now. All of us. Okay. Yeah. Let's go deal with this guy. Watch out for him. Okay, he doesn't get to see here. That's a sniper, so we know they're not turning around at all. Though it would probably have been smarter for him to turn the other way. Okay, there we go. Probably could have started with that earlier, but oh well. Okay, he turned around faster than I thought he would. Uh, not fast enough. One bullet too many in the round in the chamber. Is there anything over there? There's. Okay, there might be something out of sight. It's done. Oh, uh, definitely <laughs> not messing with that many. Okay. Unless you can drop a grenade on them. True. Uh, wish I could do that, sir. Okay, but we don't need to mess around in there. Is there actually any other doors into that place? Doesn't look like it. Probably from the building over here. Okay. Okay. Uh, Natasha. was accidentally pressing the button against uh, <laughs> against the stand of my monitor. Mon not the monitor, the microphone, but I just cannot speak again for today. Uh -huh. And who the hell are you? It's another soldier who has smoke, so you will not be interested in those. Unless they're a chain smoker. Leave it to me. But they are interested in the wine. Okay, just quickly nab you. Good. Probably should have double checked that this area was clear. Uh, uh, one looked at you for a short moment. Yeah, and there's also kind of the tank over there. I kind of forgot about that thing for a bit. Steel tank? I don't think that's possible. Right away, Ow. sir. See what is okay. It's it's just stuck looking forwards. So we can just go here. Yeah, but Actually. I saw that icon on it. Where you have it uh, over it. Uh -huh. uh, we we can do this, but we can't we can't interact with it. I'm pressing the shift there to try and see if we could oh. enter it. Okay. Let's grab you next. Leave it to me. Uh-huh. We're waiting. 
Oh, uh, that might be a bit of an issue. Good. Uh, uh, what? Okay, he must have been more hurt than I thought because I didn't think he was that close to death. But we still have plenty of meds. Okay. Actually... Inferno, can you creep a bit closer here? Come on, come on, come on. Get, get close enough, you. Let's go! <laughs> okay, all but freaking one. Okay, I missed my shots there because I lost sight of him under the geometry, but okay, still Let's got go. him. And for a moment, I was sure if you either miss them all or miss two. <laughs> and then it was just one, luckily enough. Uh, but the tank is moving. Let's go. That is going to be an issue. I don't know if that thing was always supposed to be patrolling or not, but at the very least it is now from the looks of it. And I don't know if we can actually take it on. Uh, with, with, with what, sticks and stone? Well, we have sticks of dynamite. Well, okay, maybe if you toss it into the barrel? Or open a hatch and drop Agreed. it inside? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's another patrol here. Uh, any of these have anything of interest? Nope, Boy. so we'll just collect these. Aha. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that thing was supposed to be patrolling from the start. But I'm guessing its AI glitched out similar to uh -huh. the trucks. That, or you only give it the race of the patrol now. True, or it could just be moving back into position. Is it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask, is, is it? I want to ask if they can run over their own, but. <laughs> They're supposed to be trying to avoid that. <sighs> what the heck? Okay. Boy. I would go for the sniper there to get some more ammo for Natasha. But uh, I get the feeling if we shoot him, that the tank is going to shoot back and blow up everything. Boy. Yeah, which annoys me. What are those tubes? Those are the fuel tanks. Okay, let's be honest. Yeah. Put it tank operator will not dare to shoot me a dose. Yeah, a smart one, at least. And, well, we've seen this here now. Yeah. First of all, they were to have some glitching out. They were having some who goes where conflict, but nobody just ran over him instead. Let's see. Wait, is this the bunch? Mm, no, I don't think so. There's supposed to be something going on with a batch of sailors like this. But I believe that is on the aircraft carrier. <laughs> That's a bunch slacking off in there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Main objectives, infiltrate the carrier and destroy the fuel tanks. These and these. Also something that I've learned from this, from one of the speedruns that I saw of this level is that you can set up explosives by you know, shooting them. Which, well, depending wait. on the range, is a bad idea or not. I mean, wait, you mean these can actually explode if you shoot them? Uh, not these, but like if we put down the remote controlled explosives, we could shoot them with, and cause set them up like that as well. If you say so. Okay. And a little trick with that apparently is that any only Inferno can place them, but anyone can drop them, and when they are dropped, they also explode if shot. 
So one of the things that I saw done for a speedrun of this was to basically get Natasha as quickly as possible, get her explosives, get them to drop them off here and there, and then just shoot them with the sniper rifle. Okay. It makes me wonder, would the explosive be enough to destroy the tank? Maybe. We can probably sneak up behind it with one of the uh, time bombs. Uh, I can do this. What was happening in there? Probably some maintenance. Uh, Nothing of interest to us, at least. Though we could use it as a dumping spot for corpses. Let's see. That guy might be a bit of an issue to us, though. Tell me. Let's try and deal with the tank, at least. Someone has line of sight. You have line of sight, but there's a bunch of officers here. Yeah, you're looking around, so you're a, th a present threat to us. I can't. Sir. Also, are these supposed to be zeros? It's, I believe what the most uh -huh. infamous type of uh, Japanese fighter was called, I believe. Sure. You know, he does ring a bell the name, but... Mm. Okay, let's retreat for the moment. And it seems that they're talking again. Okay. Okay. Prono, go prone. And go deliver a present to our armored ally. <laughs> Not armored allies, our armored foes here. Forget if you stand up okay. when planting explosives or not. Forgot about the sniper. Okay, we're going to have to put them behind here. Okay, okay yeah, we're safe here. Just need to know if he is watching or not. Okay. Uh -uh. Let's see if this works. Okay. And he does stay prone. So now we just bail. Maybe they'll also take up the fuel tanks. Maybe not. It's probably not close enough for that. On my way. But still a possibility. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Fireworks. Wait, wait, wait what? Okay, it just it just disintegrated into pieces. What the heck did they make that tank made of? On my way. Oh uh, well, Japan was having resource issues. No problem. Okay, all Thanks, of you, just pull back for a moment. This might cause a bit more of a stir than the other one. Also, it's... Oh, okay, so that did attract those. For a moment, I thought those were not going to do anything. Like, I, 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 was, I was thinking that for an explosive that had a very small radius of drawing attention... Also, the game zoomed out further. Huh. surprised that the alarm. <laughs> well, it is occupied territory. That, that's the main difference I think we're having. Uh, yeah. oh, there's Inferno. The moment I lost him. Uh, many of the Japanese territories are occupied, so they haven't really had as much time to set up infrastructure. Okay, also, bless you. Thank you. And did you say you soon tied to yourself? Yeah, that might have been my own distraction. On our way. Or maybe, maybe I'm just too used to you sneezing. Well, yeah, though you're being afraid I mistake my coughing for sneezing. Yeah. Uh, let's see. <coughs> oh, right. You can't use that whilst in uniform or in disguise. Fine. Okay. 
Um, where's that patrol headed? Okay, behind there. The Mona Lisa, I think I hear some Dutch in her, actually. But that's with a hesitation, do I say that? Okay. So, no, that... Mm. This is going to continuously freak out, it seems. Maybe it's Russian? Uh, this is the moment where you one would prefer to have the devs do some confirmation. Yeah. Also, I think it's time we grenade these guys, since we need Lupin to climb up the tower. Also, I have no idea how to zoom the game back in. <laughs> Probably get that guy along with the rest of them whilst he's passing by. Oh. Yes. Sniper. Natasha, can you deal with that guy? Okay. Not from there. What the heck? All mine. I just had one hiccup and instead of burped afterwards. What the heck? <laughs> Combo. Yeah. Fine. Okay, I have almost a line of sight on him. Okay. Maybe from here. All mine. There we go. Now get that disguise back on, uh -huh. and Inferno, you're up again. Okay. Yeah. In the meantime, Tiny, you go sneak over this way. We'll probably have to deal with him. Okay. Okay. So you can probably sneak up behind these boxes, but then the then the other guy has line of sight. Oop. Tiny was glimpsed by some oh the patrol. Okay. I forgot about the patrol. Uh oh. Bit closer there, no. you. Yeah. Okay, now I sneezed. No idea if the mic picked that up this time. Now uh, it caught something. All right, yeah. Well, I, this time I laid aside and sneezed into my arm instead. Normally I was as it reacts just turn the other direction and sneeze towards my floor instead. Normally. This is going to be tricky with these packed up together like that. Tell me. Okay, I think we'll seize the moment here. Once he turns. Okay. You know what? Screw it. it. Throw that. And... Okay, that got all of them. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Help me here. I didn't mean to shoot there. Oh, crap. And he's getting shot up again. But he's also shooting up everyone else. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you've, you've deserved this. Okay. Any of these carried anything useful? No. Okay, then Lupin, you get up there. I completely overlooked this one there. Okay. Any more enemies that way? Only a few. Okay. Tell me. Lupin. Uh, let's see. Already there. Let's see. You can climb this thing, right? Okay. <sighs> then up and sideways. It probably would have been smarter to climb the, up the top of it, but oh well. Just gotta be careful where to drop him off, since it's a bit hard to get depth perception out of a 2D image. Keep moving, your numbskull.
would have been nice if there was a bit under him to show where the heck he was actually. Okay, I think that's yeah. as far as you'll go. So, there we go. We use a rope ladder. This was the oh, whole idea, just, wasn't yeah. it? Why would you hang that up then? Uh, Only exit. Did the game glitch because you did not use the car? I, it shouldn't. It was only a... Was it the side objective? Uh, infiltrate, destroy the main... Yeah, it's... Hide, hide inside the truck, it says... A, is a clue, not an actual objective. Hiding spots. Yep. Okay. I, okay, I did not tell you to go back in. Okay, this should hang over the land here. I think. It's... Yeah, he said rope ladder. Is there anywhere else where you can hang this thing up? Or does this count as infiltrating it already? No. It is po pointing specifically to this bit. But maybe we need to b get a better angle here. Hmm. Good idea, I suppose. Okay. Why is this not working? Hmm. It's just being very finicky. Another good work. From the looks of it, yeah. Uh, wait, didn't you have more explosives? Or who has those? Yeah. Uh, you have the last one. Hmm. I think the game is bugging out a bit then. The truck and the tank, and now with this here. Hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, let's at the very least blow these up. Maybe, maybe that needs to be done first. Okay. Tell me. We'll see. Hmm. Okay, that zoomed us back in a bit. Good choice, Colonel. Hmm. Yeah, there is something going wrong here. Not, it like, it's not fully recognizing the place where it should be able to be hung up from. I'm pretty sure more of this is supposed to be revealed. Or... Hmm. The others can't climb this thing. You can't operate it or anything. Let's see. What's going on? Infiltrate, then... Okay, do we do we need to hide everyone in the container? Yes. Trying to look like that. Hmm. Speedrun definitely huh? didn't have that though. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we seem to be a bit stuck then. It's odd. Very odd. Destroy the small, destroy the large, infiltrate. Okay, let's try save. And yeah, 
Maybe a re quick reloads. Hmm. Okay, let me do a quick little Google here. Let's see. Oh, he's already taken an hour and a half of fish. No, but... Hmm. Let's see. Uh... Giant and high pong. And then... Rope. Ladder. Not... Let's see, where to lower the rope ladder? Okay. Find the lead sticking out of the boat. There should be a sniper watching off of it. Okay, that doesn't help. Actually... Could this... Was his body blocking it or something? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. The correct type. Yeah, rope ladder. There is a, there is a different one. A sheet ladder, but I don't think we'll be able to make that. Hmm. Let's see. How do I get... Okay, it seems this might be a more common issue. Just use the thief to drop the carrier, kill the sniper. Uh, lure the redder. Mm -hmm. Shift click on the arm, yeah. Hmm. Oop, yep, okay, I just noticed that out of the corner of my eye that I was starting to headbang. Yeah, I was wondering what the hell you were doing over there. Okay, apparently the apparently the ladders can be pretty finicky at times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we both know that most of the crashes has been ladder related. Or climbing. Let me try. We already made a save. Let's let's do a quick restart. See if that might shake something loose. I'll see. Uh, uh, yeah, this is this is just plain strange. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Okay, window that single player there. There, save games. I do not want to have to redo this all over again. Yeah, that would you just be helpful, Lolo. Now, if I would have to redo it, I'll do it off screen, of course. But okay. Wait, is that... Already there. Is there one already there? Or what is that? Going. Yes, that uh, no, wasn't the sniper's body. What is that? It it does look like something. Uh -huh. If I could zoom in, I could see what it was. Or what it is. It looks like a. Hmm. It actually looks like a rope ladder laying there. Let's do this for a moment. Oh, oh. I forgot that was where we <laughs> left them off here. It's... Uh -huh. I, w I wanted to bring him back. Let's go head it back a little bit further. Quite a lot further, actually. Hmm. Okay, this is too far back, actually. Hmm. Maybe killing the sniper messed with things somehow. But you don't need to kill him to be able to put the ladder there. Uh, you can sneak, no, knock him out. Uh, we could knock him out ourselves with Lupin here or shoot him. 
but maybe sniping him. Oh. Wait, what did I see there? Going there. Really? Uh huh. Cool. Okay, so there was oh. already one there for some reason. Uh huh. Okay, well that fixed that problem. Uh, okay. Natasha, bring over the bombs. Okay, I, I don't know if I act no what we did not place that there because we we got no Yeah. Uh, the game must have winked out a bit or something. Or... Yeah, and this was the hell that okay. he said that he he was a good and put a push down on rope ladder. And we found a chest near him with a rope ladder. Which made you think, oh, we're gonna use this one over there. Nope. It was already there. Okay, well, at least that saved us a lot of other work. All of you. Go watch the fireworks. Okay, and Let's into there. Well. I don't think it is... Oh, that is mission end. Okay. The 6th huh. of June has come. With the landings in Normandy, a third front is created, and the European War of Liberation begins. The beaches of Juno, Omaha, Sword, Utah, and Gold are witnesses to the disembarking of hundreds of thousands of men to form the first beaches. The next key objective is the taking of Sherburne, which will allow the establishment of a permanent port to receive the necessary supplies and reinforcements to fortify the Allied positions and continue their advance on the continent. The troops of the Wehrmacht and the command of Erwin Rommel, initially disconcerted by the surprise landings, are reorganizing to launch a decisive counterattack and push the Allied troops back to the sea. During the week of the 19th of June, violent storms hit the channel, which renders useless the Mulberry harbors established on the beaches of Normandy. Taking of Cherbourg is vital for the receiving of reinforcements and above all, the armored units with which to confront the German panzer divisions. At the Bocage of Normandy, the most desperate struggle of the Second World War is about to break loose. Pretty sure there was supposed to be a second half. Always waiting around for you guys. How rude. Hey, Sapper, what do you have to say to that? Well, I'd be a lot faster if I didn't have to carry all this equipment. You would still be carrying your beer belly. <laughs> Silence. I'm trying to communicate with headquarters. We're in position, sir. Awaiting orders. As you know, we have sent you to Brittany and France to find and bring home a soldier of great importance to our war effort. Excuse me, sir. We're the best in the business. Leave it to us. Of course we are. But the town center looks like some sort of Nazi convention. It looks like army intelligence hasn't done its job. Again. Indeed. There are large groups of German soldiers and enemy snipers. I can send reinforcements if you want to wait. That's not our style, sir. We can do it ourselves. Well, what can you see? There's a group of Allied soldiers trapped in the church. Doesn't look like they're having a lot of fun. This is where we'll find our man. His name is Smith. In his final communication with us, he was in urgent need of medical assistance. We'll need to find a first aid kit. This looks like my kind of mission. River's Edge will be full of mines. It's what I'd do. We'll have to use the enemy resources, too. We'll stay in contact via the radio, sir. Over and out. Good luck to you all. Over and out. Right. Come on, let's go. Okay. 
This is different for a reason. Du fällig. Hey! Halt! Stehen bleiben! Halt! Hey! Halt! Da ist er lang! Halt! Denn die hierher Da ist er lang! Hey! Uh, Stehen bleiben! Keine Bewegung! We'll never learn to halt! Say no. Da ist er lang! Yeah, again we start solo. <laughs> With looping up all people this time. Yeah, but was that supposed to be all the dialogue between the, the capturing? Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that the, some of it was a bit glitch, but I do recall a lot of shouting when I originally played through this. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure there was a part of the last mission missing because I I definitely recall. I definitely recall a bit on the aircraft carrier itself, but maybe that was the bonus mission for that? Might be. Let's see. Also, that was apparently the uh, the aircraft carrier uh, Shinano, supposed to be, according to the wiki. Let's see. Hmm. Because the, the reason that... The, the thing that I remember with the aircraft carrier is that... Uh, on the uh, on the other side of it, what we couldn't see, or uh, there was supposed to be a bunch of training, <clears throat> not a, a bunch of uh, what is the word, um, a, a bunch of soldiers or sailors being drilled uh, in like a turn left, turn right, uh, that sort of stuff. Only one would constantly fuck it up, and <laughs> the, the lieutenant would just run up and smack them constantly for that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but yeah, now we face the most stealth of uh, all of the missions in this game. And uh, yeah, <laughs> like a bunch of idiots, they got themselves caught. And from, I, from something I heard from the original game as well, uh, which this level might just be entirely a reference to, is the fact that supposedly if you're... Uh, if your commanders got caught and but didn't try to run away or anything, like if you were, uh, if you were busy with uh, someone else at the other side of the map, and one of your other commanders would get caught, they wouldn't actually start shooting immediately. They would capture them and well, <laughs> lock them up somewhere. And I get, okay. I get the feeling this is a reference to that. So yeah, we're going to have to be sneaky. And free all of the dumbasses. Let's see. We can climb in here. But there isn't much we can do at the moment. We can knock this guy out. And let's see. Green Beret is up here. And I believe is in the building that we are currently. Duke is, well, getting questioned. Physically. And Inferno is over here. Good choice, Colonel. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I don't think we can sneak by this guy. He has line of sight on the stairs at all times. So let's just climb back out. What we can do is climb up the wall here, though. And that's... Let's see, that won't go into here. Hmm, it's a bit difficult to tell wh who is where. Let's see. Heal Smith, steal the radio codes. Smith must radio HQ. Okay, he is in here. You've got the right line. Okay, but we'll have to deal with this officer up here as we try to get close. I'm sure did we make a save here? Definitely, yeah. Hmm. 
I, I am a bit disappointed that we didn't get to see the the thing with the the drilled sar uh, the drilled soldiers uh, naturally though. But yeah, I guess it is supposed to be one of the bonus missions. Let, let me take a look. Uh, bonus, bonus mission seven. Uh, Okay, the seventh bonus mission is a lengthy one. For the area is quite long, it takes place at the aircraft carrier Sinanum, uh, Sinano, after the commander's hit. Okay, so that... Hmm. So technically that was... this. Uh, technically that one is an extension of the story, somewhat. Uh, this is one of the two bonus missions that is part of, uh, of one of the storyline missions. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I probably should have researched that beforehand, which were and were not, but I thought all of them were optional. Uh, yeah, yes, a shame. It, yeah, anyone interested in the bonus missions can probably go find them on YouTube. There's, I, I am far from the first to uh, stream or record this game. I'm surprised otherwise. Should not have run. Okay, can we hide in the bathroom here? Good idea, I suppose. After you pass through it, Lupin. Okay. Okay, they lost interest. Keep him knocked out. Yes. Uh, we'll need some of those. Anything else here we can rummage through? Food. Binoculars, not that Hi. useful really to us. Keep him knocked out. Uh -huh. Okay, we have you. And we have the other one patrolling. Okay, you go look out. Good idea. This would be the perfect opportunity to sneak by. And there isn't anyone guarding there. Keep this one under wraps. Going. And once they both are turned away again, we go grab them. Also, something that we have been able to do inside since the beginning is that we could actually knock on the walls to, knock, to get <clears throat> to uh, lure people closer or at least draw attention. We've just never needed to really use that. Let's see. Yep. I think you have used that. Maybe. Okay. I don't remember it at the very least. This guy is not turning away. So we're going to have to lure and knock. Yes. And <laughs> yeah, Lupin just full on fucking roundhouse kicks the asshole in the head. Okay, that's Tiny's gear. Can we lure you out? I'm Yes, we can. Okay, then knock you out. And free okay. dumbass. Huh? Okay. Get your knife and get the stabbing. Good. There we go. And that's our first commando rescued. Boing. Who must probably be feeling like an absolute idiot right now. Uh, likely. Okay. Good. Let's grab your rifle. And now we need to fight our way out of here. Okay, they're both looking away. Hmm. Okay, I can't really tell with the left one if... Okay, he was looking outside. It's a bit hard with him to, to tell with him which way he's facing since he doesn't have the rifle in his hands. Okay. Okay, this guy woke up. Uh, we, we haven't been we haven't seen it before, but if someone is knocked out, 
and they wake up, they will go looking around for a while to see what the hell happened. Actually, we might, yeah, I might showcase this with this guy again. <laughs> Knock him out again. Oh dear. Okay, please ignore the ghost doors. Right away, sir. <laughs> there we go. This is oh. mine. <laughs> I didn't notice that this goes around. Mine. Okay, let's take you out. And yeah, now we just deal with him once he, I'm pretty sure he just turned around there again. And we have an officer sleeping on the bed. Right away, sir. Yep, there he goes. Not sure if the door would completely block line of sight, because we have seen it before that even though it's, well, it does light Easy up cake. somewhere at times, it, they don't, act, they can't act, always see completely what is being shown. Yeah, I think that might be a bug that sometimes he see through when he shouldn't. Yeah. Okay, deal with the last one. <laughs> okay, we stabbed him so hard he, he fell off. So I just say, I, I glitched you a bug. Lo and behold. Yes. We glitched the officers out of existence. Agreed. Tell me. Oh dear. Where did you get hurt by Lupin? Uh -huh. Oh, first, actually go back up. Going. Yeah, there. Almost forgot this. Not, not that. I was born. There we go. Okay, where does this lead? I'm guessing Lupin must have gotten shot when I was when I didn't notice. And this looks like a dead end. Okay, we can leave those two up there. <clears throat> now then. The, the, yeah, the staircase is guarded, so we're not headed that way. Mine. There is that officer over here. We can just grab him whilst he's walking back and forth. That's it. Here we go. Nothing of interest. Okay, can you... Okay, you can just jump down here. No. This guy is easy to get. Oh, it, it's locked. That, that explains. Okay. Hmm. Oh, well, Tiny is outside, and that's what counts. Okay. Let's get on down. And then we can start clearing out the town. Starting with this guy over here. Let's see. Nobody's, nobody has line of sight here. Okay, for a moment I thought this one was inside, but no, he's on the other side of the building here. You can actually watch on where the, <laughs> the commandos came from. This is mine. Aha. There we go. Good. Another rifle. Probably should give Lupin. Yep. Yep. Oh, come then. <laughs> uh, let's see. How are we on time, actually? I don't know if that was heard on the microphone or not. I heard, I heard someone shout. Yeah. For once in who knows how long dinner is actually bloody early. But okay, it was. We only had ten minutes left. Yes. Um, it, it's not a biggie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely should have looked into the bonus missions more. 
Well, uh, yeah. It's L10, but what 120? L102. Okay, calling it a bit early now, but uh, we can do a bit longer uh, in the evening stream if we do one. I'll be up for that. Uh, but hopefully by then I'll have the <laughs> I'll have the graphics card installed as well. Not that it'll help much with those games, but it definitely should with more intensive ones like Jurassic World. Yeah, and there has okay. been other games we had that issue with. Okay. Uh, let's head over here. And before I head off, let's go look for someone to quickly raid. Actually, normally I would, yeah, normally I'd let you choose. So. But uh, this time I'll just pick one of these. Let's see. We have K9 with Enter the Gungeon, Horatius Horatio, the Dwarf tiny with Tiny Rogues, Lazy General Dwarf Fortress, Ruff Raccoon Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, Odyssey. Yeah, Kiri Natsuyoko, uh, Monster Hunter Frontier again. Pegasus is playing House Flipper, and Sour Walrus is again playing uh, Valheim. Uh, let's see, let me double check if the... Yeah, there we go, mute. Let's go raid Ruffy Raccoon, since Odyssey is a good game. So there. Slash raid and paste. Uh, but before we start that, of course, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you as always to Kier. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, a little bit short, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully we'll have an evening stream with either Binary Domain, if not Serial Cleaner. And yeah, we'll. S I should be able to do another stream tomorrow in the afternoon. But beyond that, I've... Beyond that, I don't. I won't be able to stream again this week because I'll be stuck on night shift for a while. Uh, but, uh, not even on weekend. Nope. Hmm. Uh, but how many night shifts are we talking about? Four in a row. So that's going to be utter hell. Uh, then I really hope they this time give you bloody four day, four days off, and not just yeah. two days off of the four nights of night shift. So. That's just rude. Yeah, I think the week after, I think the next week I only have two days of work, but I'll have to double check. Either way, for now, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone.